I'm Kumud Dittal. I'm the Director of Heart and Lung Transplantation here at Calvary Hospital in Chennai. I've been asked to speak to you about heart failure, which is a condition that occurs when the heart muscle is so damaged that it is unable to pump blood efficiently to provide sufficient oxygen and vital nutrients to all the organs and tissues of the body. Although it can occur in an acute form, for example, after a viral illness, after a heart attack, or even rarely after pregnancy, Heart failure on the whole is a chronic condition which results in damage to the heart muscle and is called cardiomyopathy. And these cardiomyopathies are conditions that can occur as a result of high blood pressure, of ischemia or the poor supply of blood to the heart muscle such as with coronary artery disease, or excess alcohol intake, abnormal or malignant heart rhythms, congenital heart disease, diseases of the heart valves, and also from toxicity to some medications such as chemotherapy agents. Heart failure affects over 10 million individuals in India and at a considerably younger age than seen in the West. So heart failure results from failure of the right, the left or both ventricles which are the main pumping chambers of the heart that pump blood respectively to the lungs and the rest of the body. The symptoms of heart failure arise from inadequate blood supply to other organs and tissues, from backlogging of blood in the lung circulation and leading to shortness of breath, cough, palpitations or awareness of a disturbed heart rhythm, swelling of the lower limbs and even the abdomen in some cases, inability to carry on with normal daily activities and difficulty in sleeping, particularly lying flat. To this regard, Heart failure is therefore often referred to as a syndrome, as it is a constellation of medical problems rather than a single entity. Advanced heart failure is a serious condition that is best treated by heart failure specialists. Without best practice management, the prognosis is poor with 50% of people dying within five years. And for those in the very advanced stage of heart failure, the mortality rate can be as high as up to 90% within one year. To put it into perspective, these survival figures when treated inadequately or too late are worse than in patients with, for example, breast, bowel or prostate cancer.